All right, we've got head coach Angel Elderkin after today's game against Georgia Southern. Coach, would you like to start with an opening statement? Yeah, I thought the start of the fourth quarter um, is where really Georgia Southern kind of like took control of the game. They went five for seven, and we went, I don't know if it was, we were 16%. Maybe we were one for six. Um, and so probably after they went two shots, should have called a timeout. I was hoping we were going to score. I could call a timeout, but I thought that stretch hurt us, and then I thought our kids came back, you know, pressed, had a little bit more urgency. We were able to make a run late, but I just think it comes down to, like, the little things, and, you know, you guys ask me every week when I'm in here, what are you going to do about your rebounding? Like, we are who we are, and so – if we're going to give up some rebounds, we can't shoot 50% from the free throw line. Like there's just our margin of error because we're not as talented on the boards and as big. We we can't um, we can't leave free points at the rim. And you know I thought between our layups and our free throws tonight, it really hurt us in in a game like that where teams are going to be so dominant around the rim. We have to have our layups and we have to have our free throws. Thank you, Coach. We will now open it up for questions. Coach, tonight started a five-game um, stretch where four of those games you're playing four of the best teams in the conference. How do you um, keep the team's mentality good after a game like this going into tournament time? You know, I think, um, and when you talk about mentality, like, you know, we're, we're in it with every, with every game. Like, yes, um, we're going on a tough stretch and we're playing the top teams in the league, um, but we've played them before and we were right there with them. So we got to, you know, continue to just talk about that and continue to talk about um, being ready, you know, even before the game, just talking with the other coach. It's like the Sun Belt's wide open. And, yes, there are some teams at the top, um, but you've seen them lose. Like Troy lost to Arc State. You know, um, Georgia Southern swept JMU. You know, it's just – it's about matchups. It's about any given night. So we just got to continue to, like, close the gap on our rebounding, make sure we're making our layups, get in the gym and shoot free throws. I think it comes down to, like, the little things. Uh, Z um, Zeta Porter gave 13 really good minutes tonight, plus four in the box, plus minus. What can you say about her game tonight? Just how much um, she's developed and, you know, just to piggyback off her, I just think our bench has been outstanding during this stretch here of Zeta Porter, Taylor Lewis, Mariah Frazier, Mariah Frazier's defense. Like, you won't look at her stat line and be like, wow, but what she did for us defensively, she had a major impact on today's game. Um, Zeta, I like what our bench is doing right now. I think if we can continue to get that kind of production from our bench, it's going to help us when our starting lineup um, brings some consistency with it. Coach, I know everyone around the country does a play for K Day, but you know it's I think a little more meaningful for you for you than it is most. Um, just talk about you know this day and what it means to you. You know, I don't even think about it anymore, to be honest. It's like play for I didn't have breast cancer, so I don't you know. I, but I I'm a cancer survivor, and I love Chuck a Duck. I would say that I don't. Was it fun out there? Because that's the I mean when we started doing Chuck a Duck, I think that was I want to do it every game. I want to do Tuck a Duck every game. Um, but I think it's been special to join with High Country Breast Cancer Foundation because growing up in the profession, I was really close with KAL and um, have done so much with KAL. But then, and so when I started on my journey at App, it was Play for K. And then we, we came across paths with Irene Sawyer and her foundation and our you know, we have a bond being survivors. And so to be able to join forces and have K Yao and our community, I think makes for a really, really special, special day. And like Georgia Southern, the coaches, I love Anita. I think she does a great job. And we always match up with them. And she's like, I hate playing you on uh, Play for K Day. Um, but, I, but I think it's awesome. You know, we, we wore these Power of One shirts. Um, and it really represents like one team, one vision, you know, one goal. And so, um, yeah, special day. But it's even specialer when you have a community behind you um, and the Chuck a Duck. <laughs> I hope I get one of those ducks, by the way. <laughs> I think we can arrange that. Yeah. Any further questions for Coach? Coach, Emily Carver and um, Brooke Bigger kind of live and die by the three. How can you keep them more involved when those shots aren't falling? I think to um, – really good, really good question. Um, I think to just try to continue to engage them as rebounders, um, as facilitators, they give you, they give us their all, um, and so for us, their impact is more than the three. But you feel it 
you know, when they're not making. I think Emily had a couple clean looks today, like pivotal times. Um, but, you know, just trying to challenge. Emily grew into one of our best rebounders this year. So really just to try to get them to be a complete player and impact in other ways. Questions for Coach? Awesome. Thank you so much, Coach. You haven't been